Hey everybody, Lauren Doyle here, your favorite intuition habits mentor, teacher, and coach. And today I want to talk about something that once again came up in sessions today, and that is challenges and how to view challenges. So what happened today uh, in working with a client was that she was struggling in relationships and she was realizing that that she was making connections with people in a relationship way that were that had significant ch challenges themselves and so so some part of her w that was deeply empathetic wanted to be able to you know if she was strong enough she would be able to fix what was broken or what was you know missing inside of the other person and so one of the things that we talked about that I think would be really helpful for you today is that when you're dating uh, and when you have friendships even, you, and even in marriages, you have to remember that you are dating the person that's in front of you now with the expectation that they're never going to change because there's nothing that you can really do if they don't have that inspiration within themselves to want to grow and expand and change on their own, if you go to seek and have a relationship with them, they're not, you're not going to be able to inspire them to change unless they already have that inspiration within themselves. And um, so when you are you know, trying to have a relationship with them and you yourself have that within yourself, you end up doing what I was talking about the other day is, is having to have the energy to keep both of you up. And what happens when you do that is that eventually you don't have enough energy to keep you both up. So um, you, you end up being drained of your energy. So maybe your partner or the partner that you want to have this relationship with, they come up a little bit of, but eventually they're going to drag you down unless they have this within them. So what we ended up talking about is that the challenges that you have, and in this specific case in, in relationships, sh shouldn't be your destination, right? So the destination, the challenge should not be your destination. And so because then you're like working really hard, you know, paddling up river against flow to like have this challenge be like, you know, where you're going is to conquer this challenge. And the problem with that is that you end up burning a lot of energy, right? And you may not even get there because it's so, so hard. So you're better off, you know, changing directions, going with the flow, with energy, and then, you know, your challenges are really just the stones in the river, the rock in the river, you know, where it's like, you're, you're in flow, you're like massively um, following where, where the direction that you're being, you know, you know kind of guided to move into. But those challenges are just obstacles, right? Like they're not destinations. They're just obstacles. They're opportunities to learn a new skill and to practice a new skill. So I wanted to put that out there to you because it is something that I see a lot. I know I have been guilty of that myself. And, um, and you know, it just makes for much, much more difficult connections than you need to have. And, uh, and that your challenges really don't have to be you know, this, this like struggle that is the focus of everything in your life. And then everything else, you know, doesn't goes by the wayside because of that. So until next time, I will see you tomorrow. And if you haven't um, followed my Instagram, be sure to do that. And if you haven't followed my YouTube channel, be sure to do that. And if you want to schedule a time to have a one-on-one -on -one session with me, you certainly can find those links uh, in either place. I'll see you tomorrow.